Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and welcome back to the channel. So, today I will show you a very cool trick and easy way to block the OTA updates on any iPhones, iPad, or iPod models on the latest iOS 17 down to the any iOS version. Like, for example, if you have a latest iPhone 15 series on latest iOS 17, and older iPhones or iPad on iOS 16 and 15, even on the iOS 12. So, the same process goes for all the models you can just follow this video and it will help you to block the OTA update without any PC or computer. So now without any further delay let's start this process. Alright first let me just show you my iPad iOS version. Currently it's working on the older iOS 17.3.1 but the latest version that is available for this iPad that is the iPad OS 17.4 or if you see this video in the future maybe there is a different iOS version. So I will just give you an example. Now next you need to go to the safari after that you can google just a tech or type i am just a tech you will head over to my blog or you can directly go to my blog from this address and just open it now from the top left you will get three lines click on that and now you will get this ota update latest 2024 version so just tap on it and you will head over to this g drive link now next click on download now it will open another page with a download button click on that and it will show you the profile has invalid signature or expired don't worry about that that's normal i will show you how you can fix this issue in a minute now just go back and the trick is you need to change your device date and time and you need to set any date before the 14 december 2023 so you can set any month or any date so you need to just toggle off this set automatically option after that set the date and time you need to to choose any date before the 14 December 2023 for example I'm selecting the 1st November 2023 that comes before 14th of December after that go back and the date is set you can just go back to the date and time to confirm the date is set or not now once everything is confirmed go back open the same web page click on the download now button after that you will get this warning this is very normal just show details and visit this web page as your date and time is changed that's why your browser is showing this warning that's normal click on proceed anyway and after that you will see this allow button click on that and this time you will see the profile is successfully downloaded in your device now go to the settings journal and scroll it down you will get the device management or vpn option just go there and select the profile and install it also you will get the notification here you can just install it from there that's the same thing after that tap on install and just wait for the installation once it will done, it will ask you to reboot your device click on that it's very important you need to reboot your device otherwise this trick will not work now after the reboot go to the device settings, journal and date and time and you need to set the default date and time again. So just toggle on set as automatically and you are good to go. It will automatically set the date and time as per your time zone. After that clear all the recent app. Now go to the software update and check the latest update that is available and you can see that the latest update that is available that is the current version that is the 17.3.1. The 17.4 that is the actual latest version is currently not showing that means the latest OTA update is completely blocked and in some cases if you reboot the device and set the date automatically and still the new version that is 17.4 is still showing you just reboot the device again and after that it will completely block so sometimes you need to multiple reboots and then it will cut so let me just show you on my iphone that is the iphone x that is running on the ios 16.7.5 but the latest version is 16.7.6 at the moment for this device so the same process goes for this let me just show you And also let me just set up the same process on the iOS 15 devices so that you will get confirmed that it will work for iOS 17, 15, 16 and lower also.
all right guys this is what i was telling you in the starting like in this case like you can see the ios version update is still showing in the setting but there is a different logo so for fixing that you just need to reboot the device once again and after that you will check it will not show this is only for some ios version like ios 16 and 15 need multiple reboots even after installing the profile and change the date and time but for ios 17 only one reboot required so if the ios version is still showing in the setting just reboot the device again and you will see it will completely block so now let's check again the issue is fixed or not So now you can see on the iPhone X the OT update is completely blocked and it will show you up to date that means the trick is working now after the reboot. So let me just finish it fast on iOS 15 also. And if you see the update notification in the settings, just reboot the device again and then it will completely gone. So iOS version is still showing for iOS 15 devices so we need to follow the same trick just reboot it again and it will be completely removed. So now you can see the trick is also working on the iOS 15. So this is how you can follow this trick and easily do the OTA blocks on all the devices and all the iOS version. Even if you have an older iOS 12 devices. Now let's see how we can roll back the changes and we can delete this profile so that we can resume the iOS updates again. You just need to go to the device management and delete that profile and after that just reboot the device again and this time it will show the iOS latest version again and you are ready to update your device. So you can roll back these things and after that the device will be normal. So now you can see all the devices are back to normal and showing the latest version. So I've shown you how to block and unblock the OTA update easily on the latest iOS version. So that is all for this video. I hope you gained some knowledge through my videos. If yes, just hit the like button. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel for more cool tricks like this. I'll see you in another video. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.